I'm Tim of Govberg, and welcome to the world of Omega. Today, I'll be your guide to the proper usage, care, and maintenance of your Omega Seamaster Railmaster 1957 Trilogy Limited Edition. Now, this timepiece is automatic winding, though should it run down, you can wind it manually by taking the crown in its first position flush to the case and turning it in a clockwise direction 30 to 40 turns to start the movement and properly energize it. Now, at the point that you see the seconds hand start to advance, you can set the time, put the watch on the wrist, and it will continue to wind itself. But should you wish to wind it up to its maximum rated power reserve of approximately 55 hours, simply continue turning the crown in a clockwise direction. Due to the bridle style mainspring, which is designed to slip to relieve excess tension. You cannot accidentally overwind this watch. So simply continue turning until you hear a subtle click or tick from within the watch. That is your sign, your audible sign, that the movement is fully wound and the bridle is slipping. Now at this point, you can use the stop seconds feature to set the watch precisely against a reference time. Note when I pull the crown out to extremity, the seconds hand halts. This can be used to synchronize to a known accurate reference time, such as an online atomic clock. And it's worth mentioning that should you wish to synchronize, it's best to stop the seconds hand at 12 o'clock, and then, against your reference time, set the same hour and the next nearest minute. Once your reference time is caught up to the hour, minute, and second you set, push the crown back in, and now you will have synchronized your watch. Now there are a number of areas of concern and restrictions on the handling of your watch that you should take into account while using your timepiece. Now they include water, temperature, and shock. Thanks to the silicon hairspring and amagnetic qualities of this watch, to over 1.5 Tesla or 15,000 Gauss, magnetism is no longer a concern. But water should be considered the number one threat to your timepiece because once inside a fine watch, water will completely destroy both cosmetic and mechanical facets of your timepiece. So the first thing to remember is always ensure that when you Bring your watch into contact with water. The crown is flush to the case. You can help to avoid accidental drowning by not turning the crown or withdrawing it, not just while the watch is submerged, but when there's water on the case in any form. As attempting to use the crown on a wet watch can bypass the seals and bring water into the timepiece. Now, 60 meters water resistance is sufficient for surface exposure, swimming on the surface, but not for extreme water sports such as water skiing or jet ski use or diving. It's also important to remember that water resistance is not a static feature of a watch. Unlike physical specifications, over time as seals age and lubricants degrade, the watch will be relatively less water resistant. Therefore, Omega recommends having a water test performed on an annual basis at an authorized service center. It's important to remember that extreme temperatures can be a hazard to your timepiece. Therefore, avoid temperatures in excess of 140 degrees Fahrenheit or 60 degrees Celsius or below 32 degrees Fahrenheit, zero degrees Celsius. Now shock is also a concern because any fine mechanical timepiece built in traditional fashion is vulnerable to the most extreme concussive activities. Therefore, Omega recommends that you disuse the watch during activities such as golf, tennis, or batting, during firearms marksmanship, or the riding of ATVs or mountain bikes. Moreover, keep in mind that the sapphire crystal, while robustly resistant to scratches and scuffs, is very hard. It's a nine on the most scale, meaning you want to be exceptionally careful not to bring it into hard contact with concrete, with marble, with rock, or with metal. It may chip or shatter if hit hard enough. It's also important to remember that every fine mechanical timepiece, due to its traditional construction, requires a periodic comprehensive service. Omega recommends this intervention between every four and five years. Now, the four to five year interval can be determined with certainty by having your watch checked as a precaution every year during its annual water test. Now, a comprehensive service will include restoration of the case and bracelet to factory specifications, restoration of water resistance, and the cleaning, oiling, and adjustment of the Omega Caliber 8806 automatic. It's important to remember that only authorized service agencies 
either Omega or its designated dealers, have the trained personnel, specialized tools and equipment, and original Omega factory replacement parts to protect the value of your watch as both instrument and as investment. Moreover, only these agencies are able to back all labor and parts invested with an original Omega factory service warranty valid for two years. As a final notation on the usage of your watch, keep in mind that individual links are removable for sizing the timepiece, and each clasp contains within its body a push-button slider that can be used for micrometric adjustments by pressing the button and moving in or out to size the watch appropriately as your wrist may expand or contract in hot-cold periods of activity or inactivity. Finally, visit our website at govbertwatches.com and call, text, or email our experts who will be happy to walk you through every phase of the care and ownership of this or any Omega timepiece.